welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Um, TNT. Yeah. So, uh, have you ever tried to smuggle anything? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I smuggle like... Smuggling plums every day, B. Anyway, sorry. Wow, okay. Um, no. <laughs> They're more like Tangelos. Tangelos. Um, <laughs> I, I've smuggled the food and beverage into a movie before. 100%. Oh, I've done that too. Yeah, have I smuggled uh. anything before? I've, I've probably smuggled something into a concert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I would think. Yeah, I've smuggled <laughs> illicit narcotics over the border of Mexico. No, I've <laughs> it's never been more done. than seven years, so they can't get you. <laughs> um, no, the reason I bring this up: there was a flight attendant in San Diego. That was busted trying to smuggle three pounds of fentanyl onto a plane. Yikes. Um, and then, uh, oddly enough, it said that... She, so she went through the metal detectors, and it went off. And yeah. she had, they found she had... It, it was, like, taped around her abdomen or whatever. Yikes. And she goes, it's not what you think. And obviously it is. Um, she, she <laughs> it wasn't faces, cocaine. She faces That's what they only thought. up to 20 years in prison, which is a lot, right? <laughs> No, it's someone not. in the comments broke this down on Reddit. Yeah. This is so so the, it says the DEA lists the lethal dose on average of fentanyl be two milligrams. Okay. And uh and it said basically the conversion of three pounds to two milligram doses, this lady was carrying almost six hundred and eighty one thousand lethal doses of fentanyl. That's insane. For Twenty years. That's insane. That does not seem like it fits it should be Life. Exactly. Uh, Enough to kill six hundred and eighty thousand people. Okay, so like I don't, I don't know. Like, mm, so like, mm. and fentanyl is one of those things you can't. Can people die all the time because they take too much of it. I kind of feel like the charges would have been a little bit heavier if it were cocaine, just because of like the cocaine rush of like the uh, the eighties or whatever, and like the the drastic punishments that they've been putting forth since then to try to to uh, quell some of that. But I think, dude, but I think fentanyl is a bigger problem than cocaine nowadays. And that's my point is that fentanyl is far more deadlier than cocaine. It's far more prevalent nowadays, I would even say, than cocaine. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe cocaine's still pretty bad, but... Yeah, but, like, people die from fentanyl all the time because just a little bit will kill you. Exactly. Way more deadlier than cocaine, that's for sure. So yeah, I don't know, man. That's a little that's a little light on the loafers. But I mean, twenty years is a long time. I mean, but like dude, she's done. I wonder <laughs> she's done. But oh yeah, yeah. She was forty one, so she's gonna be old as shit when she gets out. What about her supplier? Because oh, took, I, oh, you know she's she, slipping. You know it wasn't just her, right? Oh, I mean, it it ain't her three pounds for sure. Exactly. She's, yeah, she's she's doing something for something. Because if you if you're getting three pounds of fentanyl, you ain't delivering it yourself. I'm not going to go. I mean, you'll take it to the guy, yeah. wh whoever wants it, right? Oh, I, mean, it. I mean, that's what I mean. It's, it's, it's obviously somebody else's, so he's going to have somebody else's. I'm Uber eating my fentanyl to my house, all right? <laughs> I'm not going to go and pick it up myself and pick, get it off the shelf, put it in the bag, yeah, and bring dude. it home. No, I, somebody else get that for me. Bring it home. Like, I couldn't even imagine trying to go through, like, airport security with drugs. Right. Like I, I get nervous going through when I know I don't have any drugs. Right. Like I'm like, did somebody put some drugs in my bag that right. I didn't know about? Oh, Jonas. And I would say I was just thinking like, and it's like, what if you go someplace where drugs are legal? Like, uh, like even if we were to go to like California like or Brittany something. Griner. I mean, yeah, fair she enough. She took her legal <laughs> CBD over to Russia. Um, and there was there was THC in it as well. I think in those places. Honestly, like if we went to Colorado where weed's legal, right? And say yeah, we went or, and bought or, a bunch of edibles and we're trying to bring them home. Yeah, or California I think, or something. I think in the airport, because it's still legal, they have things that are like, remember, weed isn't legal after here. <laughs> we, Put your we, Weed isn't legal on the plane. Right. Like you can't. Even LA wait, planes, wait, it's wait, not legal. I wonder if you're flying from like Colorado where weed is legal to California where weed is legal. If you can take. I don't think so. Because it's crossing straight lines with it probably. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, you can buy liquor. You just can't bring it out on the plane. You can take liquor from yeah, one place but to liquor another. Is, liquor is 100% legal everywhere. Yeah. Unless I mean, it's Qatar, of course. I mean, we're get, yeah, right. We're, <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're getting there with weed, though. We are getting there. And honestly, you know, that's what people want. I feel like they should have it, man. It's pretty much it's less dangerous than cigarettes. I think, yeah, I think, I think almost and alcohol. I think something like 70% of the states have medical. 
Yeah. Or something, That's which is crazy. Um, I was just thinking we should go to Amsterdam. That'd be a fun place. Since you don't want to go to freaking Japan. You could find a bunch of prostitutes. I, I don't want to. No, we're not going to. You're gonna going have, to the red light district. You know you are. I'm not going to. You're have, not going to go there? I'm not going to have sex. Zeus and Devonder sex? With a prostitute. I don't even know what that means, but it sounded like anti Semitic. <laughs> So I don't appreciate I, uh, you saying it. I don't. I don't think I would have sex with a prostitute in Amsterdam. Either. I never said anything about the prostitute. I said we should go to Amsterdam to go hang out, see the hostels. Yeah, but they. Oh yeah, that's the place to go. Go see the hostel. They, but I think I was, Amsterdam has stuff where like they don't let you like do drugs anymore because tourists used to go there and just do drugs all the time. And what? So like, what, oh, so now what? You have to have like an Amsterdam preferred card or something. You have to like. Pass. Yeah, have like an actual Amsterdam passport or ID or something. I think. Look, John, we'll go to Amsterdam. We'll we'll pass the vibe check and then we'll be able to do what we want pass the vibe check They'll yeah be like, oh, be like, oh you guys got vibe enough no <laughs> what <laughs> you got enough vibe you guys got vibe enough i don't know if that's the proper uh yeah they got vibe enough. measuring system <laughs> <Yeah>. i don't know <laughs> got a got a two and two thirds vibe you good <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's like I think that me and you would pass the vibe check because we're not going there to just like just like start doing rails or lines or whatever the kids are doing nowadays. Jesus boomer. This boomer over here. I'm not here to do rails or lines. Ah, uh, you guys got some stuff we can do rails of? <laughs> 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 Lord, I'm just here to hang out and see the the beautiful vista. No, no I, I do. Feel, I, yeah, dude, I I pass the vibe check everywhere I go. Um, no, no, you yeah, don't pass dog. the vibe check in the living room. Yeah, the dog, time. I am. Yeah, out here. dog. Yo, I'm out here passing vibe checks, dog. I am a human, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tail, but it is not wagging right now. All right? Yeah, dude. I uh, no, dude. I pass the vibe check. An extension when of I my coccyx. I pass the vibe check. I can pass the vibe check, Jonas. You're not passing the vibe check right now. I am. I am vibing hard. You bro. fail. I, honestly, I think you're an undercover. <laughs> you sound like an undercover. <laughs> you, Look, are you about to snitch on somebody right <laughs> goddamn now? <laughs> Look at you, just waiting to snitch. Speaking on, speaking of quotes, back. <laughs> You're like you about to tell on somebody right goddamn now. Yeah, I don't know, man. Honestly, when it comes to doing crime, especially like crime of that nature, yeah, I would definitely, I would flake oh. out. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, like I couldn't even imagine, like I couldn't. Oh, dude, I would. Yeah, I would freak out. Yeah. I would like, I'd be so nervous, like, I, and it wouldn't even be like, I wouldn't even. I'd be, I would think that I look cool, and they'd be like, I would cool. be like, I'd be like, no, I'm chill, and every, they'd be like. <laughs> this guy's got heroin inside got, his butt. <laughs> you got fentanyl, yeah, or something. Like, heroin I, in your ass is a quite quite a yeah. Like I didn't feel nervous. That's like, kind yeah, of like, Taking like alcohol into a concert or something, right? But like, because like, what are they going to do if they find it? Throw it in the trash? You're not going to jail. Yeah. Like anything that I could potentially be put in prison for, that makes me nervous. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like I, I don't want. I really, really, really don't want to go to jail. I'm, you know what, Jonas B either. I saw enough 60 days in to know that I ain't, that I am not. Oh, speaking of which, I think there's a new season of that that's probably on the thing. I don't know. We never finished the one season we were watching where we went to like actual like rape prison. Yeah, that was, yeah, that one. It was out. like <laughs> people getting touched. Yeah, in that, that was jail. a weird one, man. I want to go back to the fresh ones, the ones that, <laughs> the ones that aren't so dark and savage. <laughs> We we watched the one prison where it was like if you even talked about touching a guy, it was gonna beat your ass. And then we started watching the other one, and everybody was like, "Yeah, I have dudes all the time." We we're like, "Whoa, <laughs> like, it's just child's play." <laughs> like, Whoa, yeah, or, yeah. Well, I want to see the 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 contestants on the show take over the prison again, like that one guy. Did. Oh my god, that one guy just became like Cholo Overlord, like just like yeah. sitting there, just like. Hey, Holmes. He's like, what the, who the hell are you, buddy? Like, Flash him up. I <laughs> yeah. never forget flash him up. And the dude starts beating his ass in the jail cell. Flash I love him it. up, dude. I love it. That is a good show. I will say that's a good show. I don't want to experience it, IRL. Oh, I don't, yeah. I definitely don't want to go to jail. But I'll watch other people be in jail fake. Yeah. 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 I would go to jail fake for fake for a little while. Maybe like a week. It, well, well, here's the thing. Kind of you know, like you a resort. Anytime you want. Yeah, you look like a, like a P word on, on uh, TV. But like... You could just like what well, you put a towel over your head and walk around and they take you out back and let you go home. <laughs> That's, That's so it. True. Yeah, that's so true. Somebody tries to start touching your sweet spots to get your cakes all but fondled. You're like, "Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey." Oh uh, god, I'd be such a I'd be picked out in a heartbeat in jail. I know it. I know it for a fact, Jonas. I get picked out real quick. Why, dude? 
Because I'm a bitch. I don't know. <laughs> what I am think I going to do? in there and you, and you would, you would uh, present. I could, I could play a good game for like maybe a couple days and then people ask me one question and I'd say Sasuke and they'd be like, oh, I no. would go with this guy's crazy, gotta get his beat quiet, up. white guy. Like the guy who like just quiet, but like if somebody starts talking, just start talking wild white guy shit. We're like, what kind of stuff? Just like, just talking like about the shit. The Jews make- will not replace no, us. No, no, no. <laughs> No, I'm not going racist on it. That's crazy. I'm going with the, you stay quiet, and then when you speak, you just say shit that doesn't make sense. All right, Jonas. I am, I'm, I'm freaking, uh, I'm tank right now. Like, I'm sitting here, I'm just, I'm just, I'm drawn, right? I'm just drawn, I'm drawn. Hey, 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 uh, Caucasian boy. Hey, hey, Caucasian boy, this is our table. I don't say anything. I just keep drawing. I said, this is our table. Okay, flash him up. (laughs) Flash him up. That's it. Flash. And then you start walking towards me, and I'm just like, <laughs> and I just like, like I get crazy eyes, right? And I just <laughs> like, yeah, you get wide. Let me see the crazy you eyes. You go wide eye. You like, you like. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm down. Let me see down. the crazy I'll, I'll, I'll eyes. <laughs> and you just say, "Is this your table?" And then they. And then, and, and they Jonas, you're definitely getting raped in the shower. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, somebody has to say it. Somebody has to go, say it. Go to thecrazytown.com uh, for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.